running across the road in front of us. It is absolutely amazing. It's been such a busy full day. My first proper sighting of the front runners of the migration. There goes the hyena. Bye, Howard. Bye, hyena. Brent says bye, Howard. There have been so many hyena. Everywhere you drive, there's just a head that pops up unexpectedly out of the grass. So we're obviously, Brent's told you we're racing back away from the storm. Into the storm. Into, well, yes, sorry, I keep forgetting. We're racing into the storm. Contrary to all logic, but home is that way. So we're going to be racing into the storm. Obviously, just had my first... the next few weeks as the Vulvis and Zebra start to make their way further across but closer in our direction because at the moment we traveled how long did we travel? Uh, today we have done 160 odd kilometers. Okay we've done about 160 odd kilometers today so nothing is close in this place but that's what makes it so much fun. There's so much space around us. And the local migration is here. There's the local migration. The permanent wildebeest and zebra that stick around this area apparently and then at this time of year they come down out of the escarpment and down onto the open area. I lean back slightly. There's only so flat I can be. How's that Dave? Yeah. Alice, are you still there? Yeah. I know the call's still on. No. <laughs> I can't hear anything from Alice. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's Alice. There we go. <laughs> Are we racing? This is, this is, uh, yes, Alice, thanks. I can hear you. This is my sugar that Brent bought me that keeps me warm because the temperatures fluctuate greatly. So in the middle of the day, 